We're in a situation where Afghans have been trampled, uh, died as they rushed to flee a nation where Americans fought for 20 years. American citizens are still stuck without safe passage. I understand that you agree with the decision to withdraw, um, but in your assessment, what went wrong with the withdrawal? And I have a question for the Prime Minister as well. Uh, we understand you have offered help with evacuation, sir. But does the fall of Afghanistan 20 years after the U.S. started military operations there to drive out the Taliban, does that change your calculus and on how you can rely on America as a partner in this region, both militarily and economically? Does that impact the credibility of America's foreign policy promises? So I, I, I understand and appreciate why you asked the question. And um, I think there's going to be plenty of time to analyze what has happened and what has taken place in the context of the withdrawal from Afghanistan. But right now, we are singularly focused on evacuating American citizens, Afghans who worked with us, and Afghans who are vulnerable, including women and children. And that is our singular focus at this time, understanding that we have a priority in making sure that the people that, in particular, helped America achieve its responsibilities in terms of our priorities and the reason we went to Afghanistan in the first place, that we have a responsibility and we feel a deep commitment to making sure that folks who helped us are safe. But there's no question that what many of us have seen on television, as the president has said, I mean, the president has, I think, shown great emotion in, in expressing um, sadness about some of the images we have seen. But we cannot be um, in any way um, distracted in any way from what must be our primary mission right now, which is evacuating people from that region who, who deserve to be evacuated. I think I already addressed the point you raised in my earlier remarks because uh, we are watching what's happening in Afghanistan on the TV screens today, but what will influence perceptions of U.S. resolve and commitment to the region will be what the U.S. does going forward, how it repositions itself in the region, how it engages its broad range of friends and partners and allies in the region, and how it continues the fight against terrorism. Countries make calculations and take positions, and they have to make recalculations and adjust their positions from time to time. Sometimes it can be done smoothly, Sometimes there are hiccups, sometimes there's uh, things go awry and take time to put right. But countries remain with long-term interests, with long-term partners, and is the mark of a country which can succeed that it takes these interests and partners seriously and in a dispassionate way and maintains them over the long term. And the U.S. has been in the region since the war, 19, which is more than 70 years ago. There have been ups and downs. There have been difficult moments. There have also been, uh, over decades, dramatic transformations in Asia wrought by the benign and constructive influence of the United States as a regional guarantor of security and support of prosperity. And Singapore hopes and works on the basis that the U.S. will continue to play that role and continue to engage the region for many more years to come. 